Hi, I'm Oriana from Historic Brattonsville, and today we'll be making a strawberry shortcake the 19th century way. Um, strawberry season is here because it's spring now, and historically they would have been using strawberries for many different things, mostly uh, making preserves, jams, and jellies. Uh, but also with the shortcake, they could just eat the strawberries fresh so they don't have to try to preserve them for the rest of the season. And today we'll be using a strawberry shortcake recipe uh, from the Carolina Housewife, which was published in 1847. Shortcakes during the 19th century uh, were described as more of a biscuit uh, texture. So let's get started. So the first step in the Carolina Housewife for our shortcake is to rub the butter and sugar together. Now you'll notice on the recipe that the quantities of the ingredients are a lot bigger than what I'll be using. Um, but I'm going to downsize just a bit because if not, we will have a lot of shortcake. All right, so now we have our sugar and butter mixed together. Um, and next, she says to beat the eggs lightly and then I will add them in with the flour. All right, so the next step is to alternate adding the eggs and the flour. So I'm going to pour a little bit of eggs and also add the flour in. Um, and then we will mix that together. All right, so next it says to uh, bake in a loaf pan. So that's what we're gonna do next. And then once we have our Dutch oven uh, heated, I'll just place it in there. So next, we're going to go ahead and add our loaf pan into our Dutch oven. I have some coals nice and hot on the bottom, and we will add some more on the top. All right, so we have some fresh strawberries here and I've already taken the tops off of them. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and slice them so we can add it to our shortcake whenever it's done. You could probably eat the strawberries fresh with your strawberry shortcake, especially if you have a nice whipped cream with it. We don't have that today, so I'm just going to add some strawberries and sugar into my skillet to top over the shortcake.
All right, so that was our strawberry shortcake. I hope you all enjoyed watching that. And thank you for joining us for another Time Travel Tuesday. And I hope to see you on site soon.